Thank you very much, Shri, for that kind introduction. I know that um, the previous speaker filled you with a lot of insight and uh, left you with a lot of questions to answer. It's my earnest hope that the next hour or so will provide you with uh, some fuel from another dimension that is in the dimension of sound uh, with which you may be able to process some of those questions and challenges and also just kick back and put yourself in the mood for a lot of learning that lies ahead of you. <clears throat> I want to um, just give you a very brief introduction on how the set is going to be for the day. Um, as you know, traditional Indian music is a very old art form. Um, and uh, as all ancient traditions go, it has been invented and reinvented very many times over the last uh, millennia. <clears throat> now we are at a cusp of a very interesting time in music. Um, in general and everything, but specifically the access to music, whether it is good or bad, um, is so ubiquitous. Um, whether it is, you know, um, music from where you live, um, the micro society that you live in, or globally, whatever genre pleases you you can find so much good music <clears throat> that you do not know at some point, which is interesting, which is not, which is insightful, which is authentic. <clears throat> My personal journey has taken me through um, very different soundscapes, but I've always been centered in the Indian classical idiom, specifically the Southern Indian Carnatic idiom, while at the same time freely taking in influences from wherever I went, whether it was physically or whether it was auditorily. <clears throat> so this openness to influence, um, I think, has created a spirit of inquiry and innovation. And more importantly, uh, like once Calvin and Hobbes, Calvin is talking to his imaginary tiger and uh, he's telling Hobbes, you know, have you heard of people who come up with one or two great insights in their lives? Uh, and Hobbes says, yeah. And Calvin says, yeah, I, I get seven or eight of those every day. Um, I feel the same way about myself and and uh, the reason is that, A, I think mentally I'm still seven years old. And B, I think it's music. Uh, music as a system is actually a very wonderful and uh, fulfilling pursuit for those who have interest in music, you would agree with me. And the actual practice of music is very, very insightful because it has uh, a backbone of mathematics <clears throat> and a readily available source of um, feedback and leading to satisfaction. So it is an instant gratification which feeds on many, many years of hard work. <clears throat> so with this sort of a um, very... Uh, uh, self-gratifying uh, experience that music provides. In addition, I have the pleasure of also gratifying others. And uh, in the course of the set, I would invite you to just think of, you know, one or two key key things while I present the music. At the very start of the set, I want you to think of the question of identity. In Indian music, identity 
musical identity rests on the concept of a raga these are at its very simplest form a set of melodic notes a set of notes that are strung together to produce melodies no different from modes and scales from other musical traditions <clears throat> in addition indian belief system is very strongly woven into this ragas to the point where the ragas are anthropomorphized they have personalities they have effects on the mind effects on the body um and uh, they have times when they are sung there uh, there are traditions there are do's and there are don'ts and so we have created an entire edifice um and erected very immense structures all based on the side of raga now identity is what the notes provide the raga now uh when the saraga become another raga is equivalent to saying at what point do the changes you make to the notes and the way the notes are inter- intertwined with each other do you start feeling the change in the melodic outcome that you are personally subjecting to this is the question of identity in in music in raga exploration and of course i welcome you to extend this metaphor into the wonderful work that you all do as mentors and coaches so without too much further ado i am going to begin my set with the question of identity in the raga kalyani Thank you. 